Hey, you're welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another conversation. And today we are having the racism talk. There's it is uh, a lot is going on now in the community. We are having diverse challenges going on. I mean, lots of things are happening and uh, we are discovering now also in Germany that, uh, you know, there is going to be a change or there's a political um, uh, voting is going on also now. And I think that somehow is provoking some tension in the air. Maybe that's why a lot of racism is taking place now and we are hearing and seen and experiences a lot of stories out there today we have a very special guest last week we had our guest mary de caro who because of technical reasons could not join us and we said we're going to meet her again today and so welcome with me ma'am mary de caro who is my guest today i'm so excited to have her today as my guest and I'm very happy because, ma'am, you succeeded to become an IT expert in like four days. How did you manage to do this? You're welcome. Thank you so much and good evening, everybody who is watching and all those who are coming. Um, how did I get it? Experience. How did you get it? No idea. Experience. You know, I told you the hard way you learn, you get more experience. That is how life is. When the when the going gets tough, you stop and look around. When when yeah. the going gets tough, you turn and look around. Mom, I'm very sure that our conversation today will be an amazing one. And I'm very sure that our young people out there, they're going to enjoy our conversation today. So welcome, let's welcome Miri, Mari, let's welcome Wambi, Tute, uh, Weto. We welcome all of you watching also from YouTube and those who are watching from different pages. We appreciate your presence. We thank you for your support. And then we say you are welcome. We appreciate you for giving us the gift of your time. And I'm so privileged to have uh, Mary De Caro with us. I call her mommy. And I believe that it's because she has so much experiences to share with us. And I'm so sure, mom, the last time I met you and when we were having a conversation, you said that you have also been and you have been working somehow with Batimona Abeke, who is the um the president, so to say, of the Africa Pamoja Africa FM. And she she and you yourself, you're working in the area of trauma and you are going by experience or expert by experience. Expert by experience. I love this work. I love that word. Can you tell us more about expert by experience? So it all started when I went to Moldica Mondial for, for a program to learn to deal with the trauma. And I found out I was not dealing with the trauma. I was dealing with the people with the trauma. Mm -hmm. So I was an expert by experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, after training a whole week and another week, um, I was officially a trauma expert. Mm -hmm. And uh, my expertise is only because of my experience. I, don't I want really... to know more about your experiences. So tell us who are you? And let's hear who are you as a mother, as a daughter, as um, a trauma assistant? Who are you? I am the firstborn of a family of 10. That's where the story started. Mm -hmm. And the firstborn is always like the mother of the other children. Well, my family was not very bad. It was okay. But I grew up to a revolutionary. You know, everything to me was revolution. I was a girl, a girl who could not just say yes to anything. I have to argue. So, um, I went to primary school, I went to high school, I finished, I went to college. And after that, uh, something, something else happened and I started the, the, the other story. 
which I'll tell it another day. So now on coming to Germany, I came as an old woman, no, not old. I came like a woman who was grown up because I had children who were grown up also. They were over 20. Uh, and when I came in, I didn't mind a lot of things. I, I, my, my question was, is there money? I needed money. And that is what brought me here. So if you need money, you don't see the people, you don't see anything. If you are told to do this, you do it to your, to your experience. And I started from there and my children started also coming in and life went on. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry about that. You started from yes. there and your children came in and life went on. Yeah, I, I think we have some few stuff in common. Me too, I'm a firstborn of uh, like 12. So I, I can share the experiences with you that it is some sort of burden of a kind of responsibility and uh, you just become, um, yeah, quick, mature, quicker than every other one because you have to take some responsibilities and um, exactly, so I understand that. And uh, so today, ma'am, we're going to be talking about racism. And yes. uh, I am so, I want to know, have you ever experienced racism? And uh, tell us a little about how you went about it. What do you think, what is racism in your own experiences? Well, 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 20 years ago, when I came, I didn't know what was racism because even I didn't understand the language. So mm. even, if, even if somebody said something, I never knew. Mm. But remember the fourth day when I was here, we went with the husband of the woman who asked me to come here to a mm -hmm. Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. And they told the husband something. Mm -hmm. So the husband told us we are going. So I think he was refused because of us. He was also not speaking good English, so we didn't understand each other. So we decided, why don't we go to the Turkish? And then we started. So of anything about racism, when I started now knowing after, let's say, 10 years, when I started knowing that racism is really happening, uh, I, I can tell from not my children, my grandchildren, that one boy told my boy, you are a nigger. And the boy didn't know what a nigger was. So he asked the mother and mother said, okay. And when he asked the mother said, okay, he, he told the teacher, the teacher said nothing. So he came to Oma and Oma said, what? He, he, which called you? Is it, don't mark you there in nursery school. I told him, boy, you better act like a nigger. The next time he comes to you, you give it good and very good. So the boy went ahead, did it, and the, the other boy became blue. So wh he what did he do exactly? Wh what do you mean? What did he do exactly? And uh, is there any way, other way you can act so that, uh, you know, I think the issue of racism is so complex, right? And yes. um, we experience it diverse in a diff different ways. There are very subtle kinds of racism right when you really just can feel mm -mm, something is not smelling good here and then there's an open kind of racism that you really know this one is really addressing to me right uh and you said when you just came uh you could feel that it was because of racism that you were not being served but unfortunately yes. you could not I, speak yeah. the language so you could not take know. action i and would you know, know. And another time, I went to this, uh, our, these cars that ch sell chicken, you know, mm. the roaring chicken. Mm. And on my way every day, I was eating a chicken, a chicken, a chicken, and I was fat. Every day? Every day. 
it, you know, I did, not, I did not eat in Africa. Oh, how could I eat and I have children? So it is here and it is costing two DMAC. Hey, it's going to see me. So I ate, I ate, I ate. One day I passed there and I bought one and he, he sold me a rotten chicken. When I bite it, I threw it away. And I went and asked him in English, this is bad. They pretend or they, he pretended not to speak anything. So he was talking in his language. I was talking in my language and I threw the chicken to him and I went. And that was the end of the chicken. I never no. ate chicken. That was the end of chicken. I never ate chicken again. Or that was the end. Okay. And you became a vegan or you just decided not to eat chicken because of that scenario? Of that smell, I did not want to eat chicken anymore. I just mm -hmm. eat it the other day. But anyway, it's not my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, a question again, back to that scenario. Um, do you think he did not understand you or you think he really acted racial towards you? Well, one of the things is that I didn't know Germans don't speak English. Okay. I thought every white man speaks English. So if he did not understand me, I do not really know. But it, he could, even the body language could understand because I was telling him it's smelling. Mm -hmm. So he could have taken it and smell it and say sorry or do something. Mm -hmm. That is what I, I should have done if it was me. So he did it because he was tired of me. Mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't have to tell me, I was tired of you. Mm -hmm. So that oh. was it. I'm sorry about that. It's very difficult going through. Now, we do not want to reproduce any trauma that it has caused. But Ma, tell me, how do we, in your own experiences, you are an expert by experience. You have yeah. gone through a lot of stuff. You have learned a lot. And you told me before now that your expertise, you can't buy in a book and you can't read in a book. You mm -hmm. must experience it. Now, yes. um, is there a way we can, now, when you help women, you help people that have gone through the similar racism and all that, is there a way we can help them without reproducing or without provoking the pains in them again? Yes, we can. Because, one, we could talk, calm down cool down if they calm down and explain without screaming without uh, shouting then everything will start go going down from there mm -hmm. you will go to the next step what can mm -hmm. i do to help this woman or, or this person who has gone through racism right now mm -hmm. so either you can decide it's not worth it or mm -hmm. we are going to go above the law or the other side of the law mm -hmm. That means, um, I'll just give you an example. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to Aldi here by, by my, my place, and uh, this is the second time it's happening. The first time uh, I was buying things, I put them in front for Delora, and he, she was saying, hello, hello, hello. And I was also joyous, so I came and I said, hey, why don't you say hello to me? She told me, I didn't see you. So I said, you didn't see me. So you saw my things, but you never saw me. Okay. So I, I just left the things there. I told her, you can take them. I don't want to buy anything from you. So I went, I felt proud because now I've given, given something. So when, when I went there the, the other day on Monday, on Tuesday, I went there. They decided to be very rude, but I was not in the mood. Really, I was not in the mood of answering anything. I told her, is there a problem? Yeah, you are always like this. I say, yes, okay. Then I, I just went. Because that is another way of fighting. There is another way of fighting. If, so if for example, you are attacked uh, 
by a, a, a speaking person in a bus. Like you are in the bus and start, somebody start talking about Ebora. And when they talk about Ebora, they move away. So you know automatically it's you because Ebora is from Africa. But now you don't hear somebody talking about uh, COVID-19 because COVID-19 is European or American. So we are not yet there. So when you hear this, uh, you just look and ask the people, oh, do you, do you say Ebora? So we all run away. Yeah, plus me, because I'm a person. So they will be, they will be, they will not know which way to go to. Another thing is that I enter the bus and one man is in the bus and another I enter with. So he looks like a penner or somebody like that. So he sit on this side and sit, the mother man sit there. After looking, he said in, in German, uh, you know, in, in Africa, there is a street which is called uh, uh, Hitler, Adolf Hitler. And I look and say, what, the what, the, what are they talking about? Then I, mm -hmm. I looked at both of them and I decided, you are not of my caliber, so mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not going to talk. Mm -hmm. So, no matter, so how, mm -hmm. no matter what you do, don't mm -hmm. scream, don't talk. So mm -hmm. to the young mothers, if it is racism in kindergarten, it is there. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. there. Because one of my granddaughter was, was in, in five years old in kindergarten and I was there, we were drawing and she told me, give me a, 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 a hout father. I gave her black because she is black. She said, no. I said, yes. She said, no. I said, why? She said, the NCA told me that the, the, the Hout Faba is beige. Then I looked and I said, uh-huh, that is a problem. The mother may be listening right now. So these small things happen, but to us, we didn't experience them because we had no children at that time. And I, as I told you, we were busy looking for money to help those in Africa, because you came for the whole village. Thank you. Wow, thank you, ma'am. I mean, a lot of uh, experiences you have been sharing here, and we have many people who are also going through the same experiences. Uh, we are having, uh, so if, I, I want to greet some of the comments, just that you know people are following us. Thank you very much, all of you watching us. Thank you for coming to support our work. And I'm very sure that um, the, your daughters are also here and uh, thank you for being here. And um, um, Solia says that even racism happened to my son in fell back days ago. A German woman told the son, or uh, my son, ich mag es nicht, wenn du by, by the Schwarze bist. Oh, so the German woman told her son, so, so to say, that she doesn't like uh, when um, his her son is uh, with uh, black people. Come to my with me. So wanted the child, the mother, the child to come to him, to her. So I quickly confronted the woman and told her that that's ra a racist uh, behavior uh, towards my son. Oh, thank you very much. I think it's always good to speak out as post, quick as possible. Ma, do you think that um, now uh, our sister Sol, she spoke it immediately, she handed immediately. But have you ever experienced that situation where you are powerless? Where you see, you know, you, you know something is so wrong, but you're just speechless. You just can't talk. It's like your hands have been cut. You can't talk, you can't move, you can't just do nothing. But you know, hey, it's like, hey, what just happened here? But you still can't confront it. Have you ever been in that kind of a situation? Oh, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Um, when I came here, I started working in a hotel and I worked mm -hmm. there for 10 years. And uh, 
uh, two years uh, uh, after starting, I got very sick and I went, I didn't know where to go, one thing. So I asked my husband, he didn't also understand good English. So I looked, uh, somebody looked for me and I, I got a doctor here in Deutz. When I got to the doctor, I registered because of the card and I, I sat down. Not, not, not only sitting down, I sat down until seven o'clock in the evening when I had gone at three o'clock. You know what? I was under sugar. I didn't know I was under sugar and they never wake, woke me up. They never called me. So I, when I woke up, everybody was gone. I asked the, the, the woman there, what, what, when am I going in? He said, what's your name? I said my name. He said, oh, but, we, but we called. Can they not look at this person who is sleeping and try to wake him or her up to say, please, can we help you? And I didn't go back to that doctor. That was the end of it. I know I smelled the rat. I knew this was discrimination. I knew this, I was discriminated or that was resist, resistish. Because how can I, only the black person, sit in a clinic from three o'clock when I left work to seven o'clock? And nobody comes to wake you up, nobody tells you what. So would they have closed me in their, in their hospital or in their, their practice? I don't know. But I never, never went back. So there are situations that you feel you are nothing. And there was a situation I, I had at a workplace. And uh, this time I felt it so bad that I did not react. I couldn't. One, I could not react because I didn't know exactly what to say in Germany. Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. Even if I reacted in English, they could mm -hmm. say they were here. So I felt like I have I was co in cold water, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that feeling is take somebody to zero. But when I got down there, I reflected back. I said, "Stop, turn mm -hmm. back." Mm -hmm. And from the moment I turned back, I mm -hmm. had the thing. I was the one who was saying, mm -hmm. so "You could not come to me." in your mm -hmm. resume and you and and go through it with it mm -hmm. i could fight it i would fight it until i did i knew german i fought it until i knew mm -hmm. wow uh, it's so it, it's it's so challenging right i mean it's so full of emotions right i mean this yeah. this thing is so full of emotions and uh one boy wait wait to is asking the question what is the way forward as a community? And I believe in standing up in a clever way. We also say strategically, right? What do you think, Ma? What is the way forward? How can we um, strategically, you know, um, um, overcome? I don't know if, if we can ever overcome it, but how can we strategically strengthen ourselves to- Yes, we can also overcome. Okay, we tell us more, Ma overcome because yes. uh, take every situation where you are if there is somebody who ignores you you say hello he ignores you and next time he say hello you just ignore him mm. or her but mm. when you find a person who is talking like the old ones like talking and asking yeah can i touch your skin mm -hmm. uh, uh, tell them you want to touch theirs first Mm -hmm. then you, they can touch yours. Then you, yes. you, you know German now. You can mm -hmm. ask them what is the difference. Nothing. Mm -hmm. okay. you, you, you come to conversation. And conversation, it brings those who are up there down mm -hmm. here and listen. Only when they act in a group, you cannot help it. But when one person comes to you or any single uh, community uh, come to you, then you will feel uh, worthless, you can't act. But when you stand and believe that you are going to do it, you do it. 
And I don't care whether the people will understand. Like today I went in the market here. I wanted to buy eggs, but the egg man was not there. So I bought honey and I asked the honey man, hey, hi, where is the egg man? The egg man is not there. So another couple behind me said, ah, the first ten, do I understand? Oh, I turned around and told them, if you are living in Germany, you have to understand. So I understand. Do they need, need to, to always think that you don't understand because, uh, because I don't know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I think we, as a community, how we can, we can go forward is mm -hmm. educate ourselves more against racism. Mm -hmm. uh, if we have educators, please listen to the educators. Please communicate. Let mm -hmm. you not fight alone, because if you fight alone, you won't win. But if you fight as a group, you'll be winning. You can win. And always talking, talking, talking. That is why I never get tired in talking. I talk, I talk, I talk. Even in the conversation that I don't belong, I can enter and feel happy in the conversation because I know what I'm saying. That is the best way to go around it and teach our children, or, or your children, I don't mean my, uh, my children. Mm -hmm. I mean the young mothers to teach their children mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. look at this racism thing and face it not with the wall, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. with talking. Talk, mm -hmm. talk, talk. You might talk to people who might come to understand and others will never. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, you are saying amazing things. Thank you very much. I mean, you said something that's so important. You said, educate yourself and your community against racism and keep strong. And yeah. then you went further and you said that we should not be alone. It's not a one-man show, a one-man fight. Stand yeah. and believe that you can you can, and you will. And then you also met us to understand that um, when, you are, when you are at the ground, there is only one way now forward. No? That way is just go move forward. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, now you said beautiful stuff. And you also said, if they say they want to touch your skin, you can as well ask, can I touch your own first? Yes. Ma'am, I have a question. You have been working with um, with um, with the Pamoja AFAO also, yes. Pamoja yes. Africa AFAO, yes. and they work a lot uh, against racism in Cologne yes. or in yes. Cologne. Um, so, uh, from your experiences with the work, with the concept and the work that you are, they are doing and you are part of it, um, is that an instrument that we can use to really overcome? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. when, when we talk about Pamoja, Pamoja is together. And yes. this Pamoja is formed to, for the people to come together. So we talk about racism in a level where it, it includes everybody. That means we can go to rallies if they, are want, they are need to be, and we can go to other places to talk. And, and I think uh, the, 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 the thing in Pamoja that moves us is because even the white people who are with us, or the Germans who are with us, they understand the racism. I will quote one woman who I talked to uh, the other day, and she's a German. She has two German children, but all her life she has been with black people. And I know her through that, that way. So when her children were young, one they went to, uh, and, uh, to the Boschaft in Bonn, in the embassy, and they, they took, uh, they, 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 uh, they were taking guineas and the child ran and said, mama, 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 I know why, why they are black. The mama was embarrassed. Why, what now, what now? They are drinking black beer and you drink coach. <laughs> so that, that moment, 
the mother felt confident that the boy was talking and, and one of the men from the embassy of the from the boshafter came and said yes what you when what do you want to be when you grow up i want to be strong like you and i want to be black like you so i will drink guinness i hope the woman is re <laughs> hearing now because she just reminded me the story the other day and now the children are big. And these experiences of every corner, every moment should not make us angry. It should make us more, more unique. You are mm -hmm. unique. You, I am unique. You are unique. Everybody is unique. Handle that professionally unique. Mm -hmm. That means I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to shout. They want you to shout. They will call the police. When, when the police come, they will not listen to you. They will listen to them. So you, that is the one, number one. Number two, when they talk and talk and talk and talk, just keep quiet, wait for the police if the police is coming. If the police and, can come and decide who is who, they will decide. But for sure, the, the, the logic of young women being... Uh, being, being in this experience is so angry. I know I can understand them, how I, it angers somebody when your child is affected. But um, I probably, or I always tell them, please let you cool down. Because they will even tell the doctor you are a sick woman. And I know two, two people. I won't mention them. I know two who were declared mad and were in hospital for a year with the injection, injection, injection. Your child is, is taken. So what, what, what life do you have? No life. So you're telling us that we have to, there's a strategy we can follow. And uh, you're saying that it is also well possible that you can keep your anger. I mean, it is true that we are, we are suffering it, we are going through the pain, but we can keep calm in going through and in handling and also overcoming it. Thank you very much, ma'am. Batemona Abeke said, thank you so very much for sharing your experiences with us. No wonder you are an expert by experience. Yeah. And then I thank you. I appreciate also Miri Mara, Mari who says Pamoja Efo is one of the most efficient body that yeah. empowers the African community in Köln. So we That's give a shout to Köln yeah. and to Pamoja Africa for the amazing job that they are doing. Keep up the flag and then keep doing the work. We are following and we are there because we know that it is our time. And Mary still says that keep calm and start talking, protocol, taking protocol. If possible, not it down. This is a powerful one. And, and, and we also have Frida Mashara. Frida, thank you for joining the conversation today. Frida is saying there is a form of racism I find disturbing. That's when Germans are curious beyond respecting my privacy. When they are asked, when they ask you questions that they would otherwise not ask other Germans. And she says, I have learned to ask a contra question. For example, why do you ask? Ma'am, are there some of these questions that you have, um, have they asked you some of these questions? You know, those questions that you, they, they say it is curiosity, but you know, it's nothing about curiosity. You know what I mean? Yes, 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 I know. I, I am going to classify them. And mm -hmm. the question, uh, who comes to here? Where did you mm -hmm. come from? Mm -hmm. So you say, what is the problem? I came from Cologne. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's mine, uh, your home. My home mm -hmm. is in Cologne. Where is you? Where is your home? Contra asking, that is fighting it. Because now that person knows that you know that he has started something, he or she has started something. So if you ask a contra question, like let me touch your hair, don't touch my hair. You let me touch yours. 
or you can answer another way. Uh, go to a saloon, go to an African saloon and touch the hairs there. That is a simple shit question. Sorry to, to use the word, um, I'm, I'm dirty. No, no. I mean, this is what racism does, right? These are some of the effects of this, right? So that you just get emotional and we can understand how emotional this thing is, right? Um, and Charity uh, is saying that keeping cool is professionalism. Yes, 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 yes. Charity, thank like you. This. That is true. She knows like what I'm this. She knows what I'm talking. Mm-hmm. She says yeah. keeping cool is professionalism. This is yeah. very deep and powerful, right? Yes. Because it takes a lot of strength within to keep calm and to keep cool, um, despite all the experiences and that you are seeing before you that this is a racial act, right? Or this is discrimination because I'm a black woman or I'm a black person, and yet you keep cool and you stay focused and pass out the message in a way that is gentle, in a way that they look back and they're wondering, eh, what happened now, right? Yeah, that is right, that is mm. right. That is right, charity is right. Mm. Uh, she goes further. Charity goes further and say, Mary De Caro, you are a wise lady. Contra questions. Thank you so much, uh, Charity Warimo, for being here and supporting uh, Mama Mary DeCaro. You know, Maggie Roy says, what is the meaning of having a German friend who is not racist against you, but racist to another, another Black person like you? How do you deal with such a person, Ma? That person, you should kick him out. One, he will turn his head against you when others turn against you. He's not going to protect you. So why be with him? If he's a racist to the other black ones, he's a racist to you. They are your brothers. Simple. This is so powerful. And Lisa said, Lisa, I got Lisa's word here. And Lisa said, I think the person is just racist in general and just pretending to be your friend. I that guess you got the answer, Mary, um, you know, Maggie. And this reminds me of one of my neighbors uh, some years back. In my neighbor, she would dislike every migrant. She would curse the migrant. She would talk every wicked thing about the migrant. And then she would turn aside and say, but Vera, you are different. And then I looked at her one day to the eyes and said, I can't be different. I mean, the whole time you're talking against these people, the very people that I belong, I look like them, I feel it, what they eat, and um, and now you tell me I'm different. What makes the difference? And then she said, you're just different. And I said, I think they two are different. If we have to be different, then all of us are different. And I took my distance so seriously because I realized that it's just pretending. And... Um, Thank you very much, Lisa, for also just bringing that that so direct. And um, thank you, Wambi Rose. Wambi Rose is also here, and she says, in my experience, they don't mind one, <laughs> one <laughs> black person. When this lady comes here, there's always a fire around. She says, in my opinion, they don't mind one black person. They mind us when we are many. When we unite, then it becomes a problem. That is right, one boy. And I'm going to mention a little of, of things that I know. If you touch a Turkish boy, mm -hmm. the police will not come, even if you call the police, because the Turkish will all come. Mm. And they are called the clan. The other things happening to other uh, people from outside Germany. But when an African is alone or two or three, they will be surrounded and in a fix. You know why? Because me, when I meet you on the street, mm, you are not anybody. So I, even if you say hello, nobody will return. I see this experience. When I came here, black person was only black so if you saw a black person passing the road on the other side you would shout and say hi 
even if they don't speak English, if they speak French. So we greeted one another. Nowadays, the, the, the young ones are, eh, it's your business, or you are old. Discrimination. Now discrimination. Yeah, she's old. What is she still doing in Germany? This is a tough one. I'm sorry about that. This is a tough one. But I think mm -hmm. even to today, I still, I, I feel that we are very few not to be united. So each time I meet people, uh, black people, no matter where they are, I always have the tendency to say, hi, hello. Because I think that uh, no matter how populated we are, we can never really be many. So I feel that every black brother, black man and woman is a brother and it is a sister. I'm sorry for the experiences that you've been going through and that we can also experience because of age. Now that takes us to the discrimination, right? Because then discrimination is related to also age matters and um, maybe gender, exactly, right? Oh, it's, it's a challenging a conversation, but I'm sure we're going to go through it. Um, Miri, Miri, Miri Marie says the story of you're different is all over Germany. That is true. Um, and uh, Charity Wairimo says that it is a racist when they, when also they criticize the African men and say African women are better. That's true. We too should stop criticizing our African men and vice versa. Let's stop hitting on us. So that's just what you said, right? Yeah, mm. that's true. We should, mm. we should unite, no, regardless to whatever it is there. We should mm. unite yeah, and be seen as one body. Mm -hmm. If we are seen as a group, then I think things will change slowly because I also have this uh, uh, neighbor who used to tell me, ah, I, I don't like black people. I don't like mm. black people, but you are different. You are different. I asked her, what different do I have? Hey, you are good hearted. Have you, have you talked to them? No. So mm. I'm not different. I'm like them. Mm. So oh. this is the small things that even the Germans don't know they are doing. Mm. They don't know they are doing. Mm. And, but when you listen to them and turn the story to them, they will mm. all go the mouth shut mm -hmm. because they, they will know they have made a mistake. It is, it is also not in the, in the, in the uh, constitution here mm -hmm. to, to divide the people between race. You cannot go and call somebody a uh, 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 Jew or or Sigoina, or, or African nigger, mm -hmm. or, yeah. So you have, we have that protection, but the protection is not there because mm. that is the topic whereby racism is in circle of bureaucracy. Mm. It is in the circle. Mm. Mm. It the is, structural racism. That mm. is structural racism. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to touch that one. So mm -hmm. discrimination is disabilities. People with disability are discriminated in the, mm -hmm. in the office or in the buses or, mm -hmm. or, or, or agenda. Mm -hmm. or, or when a woman, a black woman has three children, mm -hmm. goes into a bus, you see people complaining and saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, uh, where are you going to put all these children? Mm. Yeah, mm. small things. You, you know, you, you have sometimes no 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 space in the conversation, but you hear it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. it is so. Well, very sorry. I I must uh, apologize on behalf of whoever for the trauma, the pains that you may have gone through as a result of these experiences. And Batemona Abeke says, I will uh, with you, we are with you and every sister or brother who has gone through such experiences. We are changing this narrative, join the train of no looking behind and define 
uh, defined yourself. And I wanted to touch what uh, Wembu Rose said. She said that uh, in relation to the conversation of our black men, she said they criticize our men, but apparently they do not mind having kids with them, right? So, and um, she goes, we also have um, Farina, Farina who says we should all unite and should uh, be seen as a whole body, right? One be way to way. I have a conversation from um from a man when it come come gang, who says like seriously I don't understand why it is so there in Africa that can can't be possible racism is really sad. Mom, sorry for that. So he's sympathizing also with you for all the trauma and all the uh, the challenges. And then we also have Idrissa, you're welcome. This is our colleague. Thank you for being here, uh, bro. He says that racism compromises well-being and impacts developmental, uh, developmental trajectories. Our silence will not protect us. Together, we must fight racism. And that's just what uh, uh, you said, right? But that we yeah. fight it in a, not a one-man show, but together we fight it. And of course, using diverse methods to fight it. At the moment, we have different organizations doing amazing, really good works to fight against or create again. I don't want to always use the word fighting against as though it was in a, in a battlefield of two people fighting a bo and boxing. But I think mm -hmm. there's, uh, we are creating more awareness now. We have political organizations that are really giving out, um, asking and demanding for rights. We have social organizations doing the work at the social level, like the Sunpoint Social Service. We are having this weekly conversation, the race talk to create more awareness and to be able to support the people the victim create safe spaces to heal ourselves and of course we also have the Pamoja uh, concept awareness against racism where we really train people and we give them the tools the tips the tricks that they need to be able to to be aware of what is going on and for the white people the privileged people that they should also sit back and reflect about their privileges and maybe we win them as alliance so that they can also be able to join together in creating more awareness and then uh, the concept will say it is um, a process so we go through that together until we keep fighting and there's a program coming up but the Mona Becker is here maybe you give us some information about the training program coming up from the 10th of uh, March. And this is going to be a very, very exciting program. If you're out there, let me do a small kind of uh, publicity for our work. If you're out there and you love to be, uh, create more awareness concerning racism, create more awareness regarding uh, racism. You want to create more awareness. You want to know more about it. You want to be trained to also help other people, train other people. Of course, you're going to join a pool of amazing men and women doing excellent jobs. And therefore, you must enroll yourself for the program. The spaces are almost going to an end. So don't miss that up and be part of us. It's going to to be a three months course and um thank god i'm having already the program it's a register at info at pamojaafrica.org and it's starting on the 10th of um march 2021 it is a three months program once a week every wednesday in the evening afternoon towards the evening and after this program we give you a certificate as an awareness person or awareness um in general we say big light on someone who accompanies and i tell you you don't want to miss this because this is the opportunity where you can also learn more about this construct and the, the the structure of racism the different forms of discrimination with the historical aspect and really how to be able to systematically strategically go or uh, create more awareness for and support um, the victims by empowerment, empowering them, as well as creating also more 
alliances so that together we can do this work. So every Wednesday, as from the 10th of March, we'll be having this course once a week from 4 p.m. If you want more information, just register or check, find out from pamojaafrica.org, go to the website, or you can inbox us and you get all of the information. Ma'am, now that you are here, I know that you are an experience by expert expertise or expert by experience. Mm. Uh, have you experienced this training before? Have you gone through the Pamoja awareness training? Oh, oh, yes. oh yes. Tell us a little more how it changed your life. Um or how it supported you. It supported, not changed. And mm -hmm. Uh, in Pamoja, uh, when I joined Pamoja group, um, that is when we started in coming together, not fast of, of anything. We didn't talk about racism, but the racism thing came to us. Mm -hmm. When it came to us in, a, in an issue of a woman who was attending, her experience from uh, Jürgen Dampt, and mm -hmm. she came with and I've already made a movie from that. Um, when when she comes with that let, those letters and she doesn't know how to read German, she's so mad. She's mm -hmm. blasting. And uh, when when everything got to the station, so I calmed her down, calm down, uh, mm -hmm. have a sleep. Uh, would you drink water or tea or whatever? And uh, what is the problem? You are let us give it them, them to this person who knows German mm -hmm. and let us give them for you. Okay, mm -hmm. that was only in the, in the movie because a, a small movie was made. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, after, after, the t after time, the, the woman says, oh, so it was not so bad as I thought because you think mm -hmm. everything that is written from the government is too bad. Mm -hmm. So before you know the context of it, you mm -hmm. must know the context. And I'm not telling everybody to read German. You cannot, you cannot just read it. Mm -hmm. it, it, took me, it took me years. Mm -hmm. And although it took me years, I still don't know it. So I asked, like now this program that I was supposed to do with you last week, I couldn't because of a small thing, small thing. My, my grandson came and said, Show, show here, you have to do this, you have to do We this. have to say hello to your grandson. We appreciate you. I tell him thank you. Daughter. And your daughter as well, thank you very much. I know you have three daughters. I don't know which of them, but thank you very much for supporting Mary De Caro so that she can sit with us today. We really appreciate you. And for the grandson, we say thank you for being a support. To my to our mother because it's not only your grandmother, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. When you get home, please tell him we appreciate him, and um, we we are grateful that he was there to support you so that you could do this work today with us, right? Thank yeah. you so much, yeah. ma'am. Yes. Mm -hmm. And before I leave, I would like to 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 tell the parents here who have children, whether they are African or mixture, mm. please take them to actions that we, okay, Pamoja, Pamoja have so many functions. Mm. We, operate, we operate with children. Mm. We, have, we have the we have, once a month program, right? Yeah, with we Pamoja have too. Yeah, with the children. And then mm. the children should know one another. The children mm -hmm. should be able to touch one another, not only mm. in their house. And mm. I think this would help overcome. If you cannot take your child to Africa to see it, please let us tell them the history of Africa is another. It is not only the animals that they see, because like a child would come to the kindergarten and say to one child who is black, ah, my father gives money for Africa for, for children in the street. No, oh, it's not only the children in the streets. You tell them there are so many good things on the ground. And I'm telling you today, all the white men and women who have been to Africa, 
they would never want to come back, only that they have two. Because that is a, a, like the Garden of Eden, not touched. We are only here to, to, to do something, to go and touch it. And thank you very much because you brought the young people to educate us. How can we grow when we are in Africa or here? That is a very good project. And I'm, think, I'm, think, I'm thinking of going there to do it. Oh, thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you so very much, ma'am. Uh, you're such an inspiration. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you very much. And I want to read one last comment and then you can give us your last word for advice. I wanted to read the comment of Miss Liz. And Liz says, Mary De Caro is very strong, decided and resilient. I salute you for being a pioneer for us who came later on. In, in this day and age, we are so privileged to have a handful of social workers, educators, local politicians who raise their voice for and with us. You paved the way by yourself with the little you had. Respect, ma'am. I give you my respect to it. Too. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, ma'am, give us your last word of advice for today because we are almost rounding up. Okay. Today, I want to leave everybody with one. Be cool. Don't fight. When you don't fight, the other party is afraid of you because they don't know what you know. So, you be cool. And when the fight comes, don't fight alone. Let you fight in a group. That means you have to go to the group. So the African people, let's come together. We might not love one another because we are not the same or because we are different. But coming together, and that is why we have Pamoja in Cologne, coming together will let you be seen. But going alone, you'll be dumped in the pitch and covered. So I am sure even the young mothers who are listening, even go to the, your teachers and talk to the teachers first and talk to them in a gentle way. And if you need my support, if you need my support, I'm ready to, to, to travel from anywhere to you to give you support in the nursery school to teach the, the teachers a lesson that the teachers also have to be taught because we don't teach children alone, we teach the teachers. And that is how we started in Cologne. We go to nursery school, we hold a, a meeting for the teachers because they also do go through trauma. So join me, let us be together. Thank you so very much. Join and let us be together. And you, I want to just read one last comment and we are out for today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for always joining the conversation. It has been an amazing conversation with you, ma'am. And I have just been happy because, I mean, like a lead CEO, you paved the way with very little. Thank you very much. And thank you for the strength that is within you. For sure, we are going to get you again on board, especially when it gets to be with Hey, the experiences of being a mother and a woman and a single woman. This you owe me. So we're going to make it again and have to have that conversation. Farina says, we won, be cool. We win, be cool, and don't fight alone. Coming together yes. will let you be seen. And then thank you very much. Also, we have one bureau who say, wow, so amazing. Thank you. And Mary says, Chino Achebe said it's easier to break one match stick but not thin thank you ladies and gentlemen and we've come to the end of our program today we are meeting again same time next week please join the conversation be a part of us so that we are not fighting this fight alone thank you so much and god bless you have a nice evening bye-bye